Hi Aquarius, welcome to your bonus reading for February. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so, so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Aquarius, welcome in. Hope everybody's doing well. This is a bonus reading. We're going to take a little look at love, life, and some advice for you for February or at this time whenever you do see this. I do consider all my readings timeless, so if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, that's why I do say at this time. Links are below to your Love and General playlist in the description box, as well as the decks I'm using, social media, links, how to reach out for personal reading, how to tip, donate, send a gift. All that information is below in the description box, as well as I will pin some of that info to the top comment. So, Aquarius. So, this is Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. And only take what resonates. All the messages here may or may not be for you. So don't make it try to fit if it's not fitting for you. So Aquarius, let's see what's going on with you at this time for this bonus reading. Let's take a little look at love here. See what's going on with love for you. For Aquarius spirit, please. What's going on in love for Aquarius? I guess that's your card. I'm going to wait for that one. Okay. And, oh, my deck upside down. <clears throat> we have the anchor here, which is 35, which is 8. And 8 is about action, travel, communication. And we do have the 9 of spades down here, which is the 9 of swords, which is about uh, stress, anxiety, worry. So let's see what we have on the bottom of the deck. And then I'll read just a little snippet with these cards so you get a little, little idea what they are about. Then we have the birds here, which is 12, which is 3, which is about people working together, teamwork. The Seven of Pentacles, though, which is an energy of um, assessing, analyzing, um, patiently waiting for something, too. Um, so we'll see how that plays in. Waiting. I feel like waiting here for something to stabilize, to anchor down. Maybe you've invested, you know, quite a bit of time into a person, a relationship, and you're waiting for it to solidify, to anchor down, to be stable. To maybe to even be committed. It's like you're waiting for that news. It's like I've invested a lot of time. I'm assessing, analyzing the situation. What's going to happen here? Will this anchor down? Will, will we settle down? So let's see what um, 35, which is the anchor, what the message is with that car. This is the Lee Norman deck. With stability and security, I bring peace of mind. I push you to persevere and help you to reach your goal. Watch out for negative cards. They may shackle, pull you down a hole. I don't see any negative cards. I don't think the birds are um, negative here. So let's see what the birds have to say. A phone call, a text, or a date. That is how I communicate. I am in meetings or interviews, and I like to negotiate. I can be your sibling, lover, or mate. Couples is what I indicate. So I figure somebody wants to solidify a connection, a relationship, a commitment. They want to settle down. They want to anchor it down. And they want to, and there may be news coming in of that. There may be a, may be a conversation being held about this, about uh, being exclusive or something, something to that effect, or being committed in some kind of way, being a couple and anchoring this down. Wow, Aquarius. <coughs> okay. So let's get a little look-see here at life for you at this time. This is the Moonology deck for Aquarius. A little look-see at life. And then we'll use the numerology there for advice for you. And then we'll clarify with the tarot there. So just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Those who have tipped, donated, sent a gift, reached out for personal reading. Thank you to everybody for supporting me, to uh, connecting with me, my energy, and my readings. It really means a lot to me in helping the channel and me grow as a channel and a reader. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Let's see. One more shuffle for Aquarius at this time. Let's take a little look here at life. Okay, that one is sticking. So we have here the energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon. So something's gaining, and it could be that connection, something's gaining momentum. And we have new moon in Taurus. So some of you may be dealing with a Taurus. Prosperity lies ahead. So, wow, a lot of good energy here. Prosperity coming in. Things going, uh, moving along, get, you know, picking up pace, gaining momentum. Wow. Okay. So let's see what your advice is 
at this time for Aquarius, for Aquarius. I do ask Aquarius, especially if you're new, you can check out my channel. And if you like what you see, please feel free to subscribe, like, share, comment. I love to read the comments. Don't forget to hit the bell. You won't miss out. And you get about five readings a month. You get two loves, two generals, and a bonus. So if you do, thank you, thank you. All right. Oh, I guess that's your message. Health. So something with health here. 71, 8, again, with travel, action, communication. And it may not be like personal health. Could be the health of a relationship that's gaining momentum. It's getting abundant and prosperous. It's anchoring down. It's solidifying. Wow. And adventure, 55. Five is about change. Double five here, so really, really big change coming in. Could be a lot of adventure ahead for you, exciting times, happy fun times, doing new and um, fun things. Improving your health, the overall health of a relationship. And the blue here is uh, the hot chak uh, throat chakra, so that is about communication. And the orange and red there can be your... Um, I believe you're your sacral chakra. So that is a lot of passion. So you may be having a passionate, adventurous love life coming up here. Wow, okay. So let's see. Let's clarify all this energy for this bonus reading for Aquarius at this time, Spirit, please. What is this birds and anchor about in love for Aquarius, please? Thank you so much. Okay, and then we have a repeating card with Seven of Pentacles here. Double repeat. Eight of Cups. All right, let me pull all the cards. The Ten of Wands. Ooh, okay. We have the Eight of Wands. We have the Queen of Pentacles. So there's that uh, Earth energy coming back in. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorns. We had Taurus there. Let's get one more. And the Empress, so Divine Feminine energy here. It can be male or female watching this, doesn't matter. So I feel like here, again, there was an energy of patience. You might have been waiting for your person to walk away with from a situation and lay down and end something that was burdensome to them. The Eight of Wands and the uh, Ten of Wands and the Eight of Cups. And now communications coming in to someone. Uh, they see a lot of male or female, doesn't matter. See a lot of value, worth, stability, growth, abundance, as we have... Um, Prosperity, prosperity, abundance. <coughs> Somebody sees your value and worth, your caring, nurturing, giving energy, like a motherly figure, someone that would be a good mother to my children, or vice versa, or however, someone finally coming in communicating. The Empress gives birth to something new. So I feel like, again, the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress is almost like the same energy to me. So somebody finally, finally communicating, okay, I know you've been waiting and I've walked away from a situation. I've laid down the heavy burdens. I'm ready now for my queen, my king or queen, my emperor, my empress, I'm taking lead, taking control, taking charge of this. And now I want this with you. I want to settle down. I want to anchor this. I want to be committed. I want to level up in this connection because I see a lot of value and worth in this and I, you know, could have been stressing out or you about this whole situation. And they know that you've been waiting or you've been waiting for them, however the roles are for you. So somebody finally leaving something, walking away from something and now walking to you and wanting this now. They want this growth, this abundance, this stability with you. Wow. Okay. So let's see where this prosperity lies ahead. And the energy is gaining momentum. What is that about? <laughs> The Ace of Cups, exactly. Brand new beginning in love. Love and emotions overflowing. So I feel like this is a big love reading here for you, Aquarius. Nine of Pentacles. So yeah, you. while you've been waiting, you've been working on yourself or vice versa. You've been nurturing yourself, caring for yourself, building up your stability, your abundance, um, being very independent, having everything you need in your on your own. But there's been some you know, pain and heartbreak over this. Uh, situation but now equal give and take balance <laughs> things going in a better direction things get a, getting better divine timing fate destiny 
pro there's a prosperity and abundance moving ahead, moving forward. Divine energy moving in here, moving things forward to a better direction. <clears throat> Despite any conflict that might be uh, inner conflict with you, your person, around you, between you, whatever here. Or it could be competition. But I feel like we're moving beyond all that. Things are moving in the right direction now, despite whatever heartache and pain there's been in the past, either from needing to wait for this person and just being, you know, I just got celibate. I don't know where that came from. Single, you know, in your own right, while you were waiting for this love to come in. And now this equal give and take, things going in a better direction. And I'm feeling like, I feel like this needs to be reversed. It's like no more conflict, no more competition. Uh, now we're moving ahead to a better place. And it's gaining momentum. It's growth, abundance, prosperity, new moon in Taurus. So you could really see this solidifying and coming to a really committed energy by the Taurus season or during the Taurus season, which is, I believe, the end of May into April. I believe. April into May. Yeah. If I can get my months right. <laughs> okay. So... Which really isn't too far away. Okay, so let's see what this health and adventure. I'm feeling like a really in adventurous love life here. King of Wands, yeah, a lot of fiery, passionate energies. Fire, Leo Sagittarius. Um, a lot of fiery, passionate energy here. <laughs> Go get her, going after what you want. A lot of confidence for cups energy. So. That's an energy, you know, of being bored, complacent, blah, you know, nothing's really going on or happening. But then all of a sudden, bam, here comes the sun energy. So for the sign so far, I see Libra Taurus, Virgo Taurus Capricorn, uh, Sagittarius, Leo Sag Aries, Leo. So with the sun energy here, you know, I <laughs> four of cups, I've been waiting. I don't know what's going on. Um, feeling bored, complacent, melancholy, like nothing's coming in, going out, nothing's, no movement. And then all of a sudden, here comes the King of Wands, fiery, passionate energy into the sun with happiness, joy, success, victory, growth, abundance, healing, enlightenment, happy home and family. Everything positive, positive with the sun. And the King of Wands is very adventurous, usually, fire energy. <clears throat> they're go-getters, they're passionate they like excitement magician so manifesting a new beginning here i believe that's gemini 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 and virgo manifesting something new here well though there's been mental entrapment but now that's your energy here's the king of swords king or queen doesn't matter now seeing things with clarity, no more mental confusion, no more mental entrapment. We're manifesting a brand new beginning with a lot of drive, ambition, and passion, excitement, success, victory, after uh, feeling like this wasn't going to happen. Now things are moving ahead, cutting out things no longer serving, your energy, their energy, the connection, standing up, not backing down, not taking BS from anyone, and manifesting this brand new connection. Wow. So let's see what's on the um, bottom of the deck. The Four of Pentacles. So energy of holding back yet holding on. Making plans and decisions for the future. Which could involve commitment, marriage, happy home and family. Celebrating ceremonies. Celebrating ceremonies. Again, some of you definitely could be getting married here. In the future are just uh, having a deep commitment here. Could be common law. It could be just, you know... Committing to one another, promising to one another, and celebrating. Kind of energy. Ending things no longer serving. So now this connection can move to, forward together. A lot of driving ambition, passion, success, victory, and balance. Now we have a king of pentacles. So, you know, stability, growth, abundance, practical, smart energy. So we've got Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer here. So... I do see, I think this is all about love for you, Aquarius. If it's not, then there's just something in your life where <coughs> something's coming together, something's solidifying, it's gaining momentum, it's gaining uh, growth, abundance, 
the health of the situation is getting better. It's feeling exciting, adventurous. It's successful. It's moving forward. It's balanced. Whatever it is for you. If it's a connection with somebody else or it's a job related or it's just something in your personal life, a new home or traveling, I don't know, whatever your situation is, I just feel like everything is going to be getting better here, especially with the Wheel of Fortune here coming in for you, Aquarius. Wow, Aquarius. So best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.